Hello cookbook fans, this is Carrie from Cookbook Divas, and it's been a few days since I looked through a baking or pastry cookbook, so I thought I should quickly run over to the library and grab Pastry Love by Joanne Chang, a baker's journal of favorite recipes. I'm excited for autumn to come so I can start baking again. I think this came out in 2019. The publisher is Houghton Mifflin Harcourt, which I may have just mispronounced. Houghton? 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 Okay. Table of contents. Let's check it out together. What's for breakfast? This is a tiny font. I might have to get some glasses. And I don't have any. Okay. Wish me luck. What's for breakfast? I need bread. Afternoon pick-me-up. Oh, lots of contents. Woo! Easy as pie. I'm having trouble reading this funky font. Let them eat cake. I'm looking forward to the cake chapter. Time to show off. Ooh, can't wait to see the pictures. I made this for you. And master of your pastry domain. I'm guessing that's the end. Yes. Okay, introduction. Here's our cookbook author. With very tiny font. Wow, I know I'm getting old, but uh, woo! I guess they were trying to fit more pictures into the book, which I approve of. So here's a baker's dozen tips to be a better baker. I'll go back and put some glasses on and read that later. Master techniques. Some step-by-step -step photos. Good, I love those very much. More, more, more. Equipment, of course. We need to know what we need to have. Ingredients, etc. What kind of sugar. All right, first chapter. What's for breakfast? Ooh, country feta pies. I would make those right now, but I'm too busy showing you this cookbook, so I'm not going to. That looks amazing. Bacon drop biscuits. I bet there's a lot of bacon fans watching right now. Ham and cheese puffs. So far I'm seeing excellent pictures. I'm a little nervous. This is mushroom and thyme brioches. I'm a little nervous with the directions being kind of complicated, but this isn't a cooking cookbook. It's a baking book, so there's more steps involved. Don't know what those are, but that's beautiful. Vegan chocolate banana muffins. That's nice to have a vegan alternative. Can't show you the whole book, so I'm skipping ahead. Lemon raspberry chia muffins. I'm not a chia fan. I would probably skip that, but it's good to have the option. Apple vanilla pound cake. I love that this is in the breakfast chapter. <laughs> Goes good with coffee. Irish soda bread. Oh, nice. This is a huge cookbook. Ricotta cherry scones. Yum. I should be less lazy and not rip open a scone mix package. I should, I should stir them myself. Uh, nutty sandy. Oh, CD breakfast cookies. Okay, gotta move to the next chapter. Oh, but look, it's a fresh fig Danish. How gorgeous is that? Is that from the cover? Yes, it is. Okay. Wow, I don't know where to go next. Cinnamon rolls. Wow. Mascarpone cream filling to put inside of these. Whoa, I think we've moved chapters because suddenly we're in gluten-free something. Hala. Here is step by step. There's a lot of braiding and weaving going on. Love those photos. That's great. Uh, rye bread. Pull apart rolls. Crowd pleaser. Great for dinner parties. Oh my gosh, there's so much in here. I don't even know what to show you. Um, Alina's milk bread. Um, cranberry pecan bread. Not the greatest picture. Okay, lots of breads. Walnut meltaways. Vegan almond macaroons. We must be in the cookie chapter. It's kind of hard to find chapters when I'm just flipping through quickly. Whole grain biscotti. Too crunchy for my teeth. Anzacs. Okay. Let's get onto the woo! Raspberry swirl meringues. Gorgeous. Boring. Okay. Um, baby palmiers. That's hard to get the texture right, isn't it? Ooh, this is pretty. We're about to go into the easiest pie chapter. But I wanted to show you these gorgeous spiral shortbreads. Pretty, pretty. Okay, pie chapter. Fresh fruit tart. I guess that counts as a pie. Spring ricotta pie. Gorgeous. I thought, what if I thought that was polenta for a second? <gasps> Plum frangipani tart. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Almond joy tart. Double lemon cream tart. Mm-hmm, I love lemon. Don't you? Cherry crumb pie. That sounds amazing. 
I'm sure there's probably a pecan pie in here, and there's probably a pumpkin pie, a rhubarb brown sugar pie, fresh peach cobbler? Oh, co crostatas. Sorry, the font is a little funky. S'mores pie. Oop, someone left something in the library book. Galette de Raw. Galette of the Kings. Uh, something in French I can't read because the font is too funky. Autumn Pear Tart Tatin. So this is very French influenced. Gorgeous. We got to get to another chapter, perhaps the cakes chapter. I see some cupcakes. I see some marshmallow frosting. Vegan Hostess Cupcakes. <laughs> That's clever. I like that. There's going to be some very happy people. Olive Oil Cake. Yes, we're in the cakes chapter. Okay, cake, cake, cake. Crumb Cake. Simple Lemon Spiral. How amazing does that look? Uh, eggnog Cheesecake. Orange Almond Pudding Cake. Um, ooh, something... Oh, gorgeous. A chiffon cake. Very 19, what, 50s? Very vintage, retro. An adult spice cake. Ooh, here's a blue something. I'm not sure what this is, but it's blue. That's pretty. Okay, and cake, cake, cake. Now, a passion fruit cream cake. Okay. Uh, almond panna cotta. I'm going to skip ahead. Butterscotch pudding. Matcha cream puffs. Very modern. Ooh, coconut sticky rice with mango. Wouldn't expect to see that in a baking book, but I guess. Hmm. Raspberry pavlovas. Uh, I thought there was some kind of a showstopper. I'm not sure. Billionaire shortbread. Ooh, whoa. This looks like a lot of work. Is this a Christmas chapter? Peppermint kisses. Okay. English toffee. Oh, these are gifts that you make for other people. Master of your pastry dreams. Wow. I'm going to go back through that more slowly by myself, but I'm so glad I could look through this first with you. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like and comment. Say something nice, please. If you've enjoyed this video, that way the algorithms will show you more of our posts. And we post to Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and occasionally Pinterest. And you can find our blog, cookbookdivas.com, and we have a podcast. Bye.